All right, guys. So today, let's briefly talk about the Smith & Wesson Model 669. Uh, this was a very affordable recent purchase of mine. Um, i trying to remember, I think this came from a local shop, actually. Um, no, actually, I think I bought this, uh, I think I bought this one online. Uh, they had some law enforcement trade-ins, uh, and I think I picked this up from that, actually. I did buy some of the Smith & Wesson, um, 9mm from a local shop, but this was from a pretty major online retailer. I think YouTube doesn't like it if I get into specifics on that, so we'll just leave it at that. So, this is a double action. Uh, your hammer's not really exposed. You can cock the thing and fire it single action on your first shot, but it's not the easiest thing to do. You can barely get a hold of it with your, with your hand there, and it goes fully smooth when you've got safety off. So... These have the notorious, whether you, I mean, some, some people call it notorious, some people probably appreciate the feature. Uh, if your mag is dropped, the gun will not function. So right now, obviously, we're safe and we're clear. It has a decocker, uh, which is safety is also a decocker. Um, but say you've got it like this, trigger just does nothing with the mag out of the gun. So uh, that's worth keeping in mind if you're looking at these. The sights on these aren't anything to write home about with the factory sites. They're not terrible, uh, certainly usable, um, but they're nothing other than like a little U-notch and you're lining up with basically just a hunk of metal up front. So they're not feature-laden pistols like some of the modern stuff. You've got an alloy frame with a steel slide. Um, takedown's pretty basic. Uh, your standard uh, center pin here. Um, I like the ones with the curved and textured front of the trigger guard there. You've got a little bit of texturing here too. Uh, your back strap is textured, which is nice. Um, it's actually a nice little carry piece if you wanted to carry something and you don't need something with some of the modern features. You don't care about having uh, you know, an optics cut or anything like that. Um, weight's not that bad on them. They hold 12 rounds in the magazine. Uh, again, they're 9mm. Um, I found this one to be very accurate. It, it actually, if you want to carry it, it's a it's a pretty comfortable carry piece, I would suggest. I'm trying to think what else I need to tell you about this. It's a good little piece. It shoots well. I've had no issues or hang-ups out of it so far. I've put several mags through it and really enjoy shooting these, all of these Smiths from this era. They're just really good values on the market right now um, if you're a little picky and you bide your time trying to find what you're looking for. Um, I've heard bad things about some of the double action only models where you've got no exposed hammer at all. Um, some people complain about those as far as your trigger. Uh, I haven't messed with one of those yet so as far as the 669 I really like these. Uh, yeah, I really have no major complaints about it. Nice little pistol. The weight's not terrible. I like the grip setup. I think these are not factory Smith & Wesson grips because I don't see a logo. And I believe all of those had logos from the factory. So uh, mine's a little dinged up and beat up from use over the years from prior owners. So I may actually pick up a uh, another set of replacements for this thing if I can get a hold of a pair. I think I've seen some on uh, some of the online auction sites. So I'll probably pick up another pair of those uh, just to replace these and have some that aren't as beat up and nicked up. I had to actually... Uh, <laughs> I pushed that back down with, uh, with a piece of flat metal so that I could not get... because it was, it was catching on a little bit on my hand and on my palm. So I pushed that back down flat like it should have been. So anyway great great piece um, seems to be very reliable mine has been so far no problems no qualms with the with the piece you don't have ambi function on the uh, 669 that's just not 
on these factory, although I think you can change that out if so desired. Uh, I believe the replacement for these, the upgrade that's the 4 Series pistol, um, or 4 four digit model number pistols, I believe they have an ambi safety and decocker if I'm not mistaken. They also have a different grip set up and stuff too. Um, and they may have a rounded, I'm not positive off the top of my head, they may have a rounded trigger guard. So anyway, um, I haven't gotten to mess with one of those in 9mm, but as far as this one, I really like it. So, hope you guys are having a good one. Appreciate you watching the video. Take care.